Please do sit down. As the Vice-Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this evening's ceremony for the Centre for Postgraduate Medicine, the Department of Human and Environmental Sciences, and the Department of Pharmacy. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my right, Professor John Senior, the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Research and International, and on my left, Professor Saraya Dillon, the Dean of the School of Life and Medical Sciences. May I, of course, also welcome our postgraduates, their friends, relatives, and supporters to this evening's ceremony. I have pleasure now in calling upon Professor Saraya Dillon to address the assembly. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very warm welcome to our graduates and your families and friends who join us on this important day. I'm delighted and proud to be sharing this very special moment with you, celebrating all that you have achieved with us and looking ahead to bright new futures for every one of you. It has certainly been a phenomenal few years of change and growth for the university itself. We've invested heavily in creating a fantastic environment that will benefit future generations. We've come a long way. And today, we're particularly proud to be a thoroughly modern university that's continuing to develop our students to have world-class resources within a world-class environment. If you can take anything from our developments, and in particular, the College Lane campus over the past year, it's this, continue to grow and remember our motto, seek knowledge through life. To be successful in today's world, you have to grow and be adaptable. Over the past few years, the economy and the job market has improved considerably. There is renewed optimism in many sectors, but that still does not mean it's not going to be easy for many people like you graduating across the UK. We've tried to help you stand out. When you chose the University of Hertfordshire, you chose a university that focused on honing the very skills and attitudes that will open doors, whatever the economic climate. The experiences that you've had with us have not only challenged you intellectually, as all higher education courses must, but also challenged you personally and practically giving you the opportunity to learn and grow beyond the classroom in real working world situations. You have not only developed academic knowledge and practical skills, but you've grown in and developed in confidence and creativity, making you a real asset to employers right from day one. Sharing this day with you reinforces the value of higher education in producing outstanding, rounded individuals, bursting with fresh ideas, drive and passion to build a better society. You have chosen to train for careers in such worthy professions. You should feel very satisfied with your achievements so far and the paths that you'll be embarking on. The job market you enter is highly competitive, but by choosing to go into your professions, you will certainly, almost certainly, find opportunities to progress. Your dedication and the high level of skills that you have developed at the university will greatly contribute to the nation as a whole. Of course, what you will have realized is that learning does not end when you finish your course. Although here today you are being recognised for your award, it is something on which you can build for the future. What you have today is a tremendous foundation of theory and practical skills that you will build on year on year. Whatever you do next, wherever your career takes you, you all share a common link. You are part of a burgeoning international network of Hertfordshire alumni. And with that comes a certain responsibility to do good in the world and make the best use of your skills 
and in turn help others. While you're enjoying your new lives and careers, I do hope that you will spare a thought for us every now and then. And in fact, I would encourage you to do more. Every year, we welcome our alumni who have gone on to achieve success all over the world and who feel passionately about giving something back to come and share their stories and insights, even employing our students and graduates. You too could be someone who could make an incredible difference to a young person's life and encourage others to follow your footsteps. Our alumni are important to that continued success and as people who have benefited from a university education, you will continue to see the value in higher education. While I hope you feel the University of Hertfordshire has provided you with tremendous support through your tutors, I urge you also to think of others who have made this day possible through so many sacrifices, your school teacher, peers, friends, and of course, your families. All that remains for me to do is once again sincerely congratulate you all on your outstanding achievements. I hope you will look back at your time as a student here with great fondness. So on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire, I thank you for being with us and I wish you all the very best for your future lives and careers. Thank you. We shall now receive the postgraduates of the Centre for Postgraduate Medicine, <coughs> the Department of Human and Environmental Sciences and the Department of Pharmacy. The candidates are presented by a senior member of academic staff from their school and I first call upon Ms Maureen uh, Brennan to do the presentation. Centre for Postgraduate Medicine, Master of Health and Medical Education, Shahid Anis Khan. <laughs> Vikash Singh Ramkelawan. Master of Science degree in Clinical Medicine. Winner of a University Prize, Mia Few Sin. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Dermatology Skills and Treatment. Fatima Naeem Ahmed. <laughs> Hadi HMF Alanisi. With distinction, Lana Ali Yassim Al Kaija. <laughs> With distinction, Narin Janji Omar Al Koye. Aisha Khalid H. M. Al Noemi. <laughs> Vilma Concesio.
Dolores Bernadette de Souza. Alina Hassan. Lisa Mitchell Worsfold. Tanya Wadi Patamuk. With distinction, Sura Mania Sahib. Kieran Theobald. Nayaporn Thoma Putanaka <laughs> With distinction, Cho Yu Wang. Master of Science degree in Medical and Healthcare Simulation, Erica Suzanne Everett. <laughs> Bruce Kerr. With distinction, Nicholas Andrew White. <laughs> Svetlana Zelenza. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Mental Health Practice, John Olanten. Master of Science degree in Psychiatric Practice, Olympia Agaliotti. <laughs> Mohammed Mubashir Ali. Raja Sakaran Chakrapani Shankar. <laughs> Humphrey Abortang Enau. <laughs> Bamunu Arichichiga. Niranga Hasanthi Deananda Karuna Naratni. <laughs> Vinod Kumar. <laughs> Sa
Saeed Mustafa. Chizoba Obi. Kiki Ogonboye. Thilagawati Panival. With distinction, Hannah Rebecca Bailey's Sheftel. Khalifa Mohammed Sajad Siddiqui. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Skin Integrity, Skills and Treatment, Isaiah Abbas. Azza Ahmed. <laughs> Aisha Saif Amour Al Marizi. Shaika Ali Al Katani <laughs> Iman Atik Jean-Tide Bartello. <laughs> Salma Ibrahim Kuraibiet. <laughs> Munia Sabas. Vincent Siao Saji. <laughs> Miriam Wubbles Kassar. Master of Science degree in Western Medical Acupuncture. With distinction, Martin Albright. With distinction, Sue Clothier.
Master of Science degree in Dermatology, Skills and Treatment, Saltanat Saraboldeva. Department of Human and Environmental Sciences, Master of Science degree in Biotechnology, Chika Dorothy Madabuku. <laughs> Gaurav Panchal. Susmita Sharma. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Environmental Management, Isa Alhaji Abdullahi. Babatunde Olafemi Fatusin. <laughs> Omawumi Teniola Laoshe. <laughs> Nkechi Mwapa. Master of Science degree in Environmental Management for Business, Michelle Gay Dobney. <laughs> Victor Ikechuku Opara. <laughs> Samuel Waite. Master of Science degree in Molecular Biology. With distinction, Menaka Lasanthi Menik Paraj. Master of Science degree in Pharmacology, Mohammed Al Hatani. <laughs> Ahmed Munir H. Al Hatani. Fatima Khalifa M. Al Suleiman. <laughs> Mohammed Moyenudu Afsal Baka. Lama Mawan A. Fetiani. <laughs> Usama Samir Malala. <laughs> Mohammed. 
Master of Science degree in Pharmacovigilance, Amina Retmula. Master of Science degree in Sustainable Planning, with distinction, Matthew Robert Churchill. <laughs> with distinction, David Michael Harris. Master of Science degree in Sustainable Planning and Environmental Management, with distinction, Adiola Abusede Awalola. <laughs> Ngumba Kayo. Elizabeth Jane Thorogood. Aruj Zara. Master of Science degree in Water and Environmental Management. Opiemi Mobalaji Ada Duwali. Karen Oritsibulbain Bimi Bewo. With distinction, Catherine Ward. Brian Wright. Department of Pharmacy, Master of Science degree in Advancing Pharmacy Practice, Saleh Abdullah G. Al Gandhi. <laughs> Maha Bajid J. Almadani. Opeyemi Oluwa Damilola Iyeni. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Pharmaceutics, Denitsa Slavova Asieva. <laughs> Muni Shah Siddiqui. Sara Shafe <laughs> Kalpesh Arvind Vajiani
Postgraduate Diploma in Pharmacy Practice, Radhika Shashikant Katiche. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Pharmacy, Overseas Pharmacist Assessment Programme, Fatima Muhammad Ali. The following awards were achieved having followed approved programmes of study under the Credit Accumulation and Transfer Scheme. Master of Science degree in Healthcare Leadership and Management Studies, Tina Runa Adak. Adam Brown. Jeanette Buckley. <laughs> Alison Patricia East. <laughs> Deborah Patricia. Fulcher. <laughs> Anne Geyer. <laughs> Sarah Jane Lafbury. Gabrielle Ann Leishan. Christine Palmer. Michelle Margaret Sully. <laughs> Shirley Ann Tamim. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Medical Studies, Yvonne Macy Cordukes Coverdale. It is, of course, a, a wonderful privilege being the Vice-Chancellor of the University, and in particular, always one of my favorite duties, being the first to congratulate our new graduates. Uh, a wonderful uh, group of graduates in doing so many extraordinary and interesting things. Um, I now have pleasure in calling upon uh, Sarah Shafai to address the Assembly on behalf of the graduates. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's a real honor to be invited today to speak on behalf of all the graduates and give thanks for all the support, encouragement, and guidance that we have received during our time at the University of Hertfordshire. But first, I would like to join the distinguished panel to congratulate all the graduates. I'm sure you will agree that our journey through the pathways of education has not always been easy. Education is not only about gaining new knowledge, but also a lived human experience, full of joy and challenge, hardship, but also hope. Through this process, we learned as much about ourselves as we learned about each other and our world. 
With each failure, we took one step closer to success. So congratulations to you all for being here today at the top of the ladder of success and personal development. For you, even sky is not a limit, but a window. Looking back to the very first day of our journey, when it all started, we all shared one thing in common, if nothing more. We were all determined and ready to get a world-class education for a brighter and better future. It took us a while to settle in, to learn about each other's backgrounds, cultures, and to even pronounce each other's names correctly. And I often wondered how easy it was to build new friendships when you are a kid, and I thought I'd probably never make new friends for life like that as I grow older, more responsible, busier, and well-educated. Oh, and how I was proved wrong by you. I learned how people can come into your life when you least expect them to and brighten everything. Thank you to all our new friends who took us back to those childhood memories and made this journey a joyful and memorable one. It fits in well here to also give a special thanks to our family and old friends for being along our side every step of the way, supporting us and telling us, if you cannot do it, then who can? I'd like to extend my biggest thanks to our academic staff, our lecturers and mentors for their generosity and patience in sharing with us their years of knowledge and expertise. You inspired and encouraged us to develop our curiosity and critical thinking. It is thanks to you that we are standing here today as masters of our field and builders of our own bright futures. When I was writing this speech, I thought of a single word that would best describe our mutual feeling today at this very moment between us graduates, our family and friends, and all the staff at Hartford Street University. And to be honest, I could not think of a better word than proud. A well-deserved feeling and to its true meaning. I believe every single person in this room should be proud of themselves as our success was a joint effort. Our accomplishment today would have not been possible without the help, support, and encouragement of each and every one of you. We owe our success to you all. And on a final note, I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to Vice Chancellor, Professor Quintin McKellar for receiving the graduates of the Center for Postgraduate Medicine, Department of Human and Environmental Sciences, and the Department of Pharmacy. Thank you. Sarah, thank you very much, and I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll agree with me that we can all be very proud of our graduates if they're all as eloquent and as articulate as Sarah. Uh, if you'll allow me just a few minutes before I release you to the uh, refreshments that await in the de Havilland restaurant. Um, this year, we as a university have been looking at our strategy, looking forward for another five years. And in creating that strategy, uh, my colleague, the, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, has been uh, consulting across the whole institution with uh, many of our academic, professional colleagues, and of course, with our students. As part of the uh, um, the, the strategic review that we've undertaken. Um, we've also been looking at the values which we hold dear as a university. And it's uh, uh, fabulous as I was standing watching all the new graduates come across the stage with their extraordinary bright faces, wonderful smiles, that FACES is the acronym which we've chosen to describe the values that we hold dear and faces because the F stands for friendship. And I can think of no better uh, uh, value to have as a, a, a university, and indeed Sarah commented on it. We, of course, hope that we've offered you friendship. Uh, my academic colleagues have offered you friendship as you've been working here in the university. We hope, of course, also that you have developed friendships, friendships which will last you your entire lives, uh, friendships which you've developed with colleagues while you've been at the university. And of course, as you know, uh, some of you already have jobs, some of you going for new jobs, as you enter into those jobs, I hope you build up very strong friendships uh, which are, of course, enduring. The second uh, letter, A, 
stands for ambition. We are an extraordinarily ambitious university. You will see that simply by the scale and extent of the building going on across the university campuses. But of course, we are hoping to uh, build not just in bricks and mortar, but of course in intellectual capacity and of course in the marvelous people that we create here at the university. And you are part of that legacy. Um, and uh, not only are we ambitious for the university, but we hope that you are also ambitious as individuals. Ambitious for yourselves, but of course ambitious for your families and for your communities. Um, uh, ambition is uh, a, a wonderful attribute, but it can also, uh, uh, um, well, I think it's a wonderful attribute, particularly if you combine it with friendship. The third uh, um, value which we developed uh, as, as part of the strategic plan was collegiality. Now, that's a, a value which, of course, within a university we should consider dearly. It's the, uh, the, the value which uh, brings together all the different disciplines, brings together all the different expertise, research skills across the university to create what is a single entity. Now, of course, you will have had the opportunity as students of the university to experience that. We hope to enrich it. We hope to develop it. As you go into your careers, I hope also that you will take the spirit of collegiality into the jobs and into the, uh, the businesses which you enter. Uh, not surprisingly, as a university which is aspiring to be internationally renowned, as the UK's leading business-facing university, enterprise, of course, uh, appears on the list of values which we have as a university. Of course, we want to be an enterprising university, but we absolutely want all our students and graduates also to develop that enterprising spirit. We want you to be enterprising, to be innovative, to be leaders in whatever you choose to do in the future. And finally, of course, as a university, the last of our values, last but certainly not least, is uh, uh, student uh, engaged. Everything we do as academics and professional colleagues across the university must be to develop in the best possible way the students who come to this university. Now that, of course, is a value which we, the, uh, the uh, uh, if you like, academic and professional staff of the university might express. You might find it strange that I'm suggesting that you also should consider it a value. But you would have heard uh, uh, Soraya comment on the uh, fact that you are now part of our alumni. And as part of our alumni, alumni of the University of Hertfordshire, we hope that at some point in the, in, in the future, you will be able to touch the lives of future students coming to the university, whether it's to offer them placements, whether it's to offer them support, uh, whatever. We certainly hope that that uh, student focus is something that you can take away as well as graduates of the university. So those are the values that we've come up with. Um, I hope as we go for refreshments, you're able to discuss those values with my academic colleagues. Tell us if you think we've got the values right. Tell us, tell us if you think they're just aspirations or if you think they're values that you experienced while you were here at the university. They are certainly values which I am deeply proud that my colleagues have come up with because of the values that I personally would like to uphold and cherish myself. Now, uh, Sarah did, of course, thank those sitting in front of me, but I have to do so also. Uh, it is very clear to me that the lives, the, the journeys of all the students who come through this university would be very much poorer if it wasn't for those who supported them, their families, their friends, spouses, uh, essentially those particularly who sit in front of me just now. So I wonder if my uh, uh, new graduate colleagues, new alumni of the university might join with me in thanking those who have so... Uh, <laughs> helped you through the course. Thank you very much. And of course, I must leave best to last 
Would you all join with me in thanking the new graduates of the University of Hertfordshire? Very well done. Now that concludes the formal part of the proceedings. Uh, may I just remind you that there are refreshments avail available in the de Havilland restaurant. Please join us there. And could I now ask you if you would be upstanding as the academic procession leaves the hall. Thank you.